Welcome to AUC Author Series. I'm Daniel Lee, Digital Initiatives Resident Librarian. Your host today for this program, Brad Oz, our Theology Librarian and Co-Producer of this program, is operating the camera. Our guest today is Melvin Collier. Mr. Collier is a staff member in the Archives and Special Collection Department. Well, yes, my latest work, uh, Mississippi to Africa, uh, is basically a book that uh, tells about my genealogical journey in tracing my maternal grandmother's family. And the reason why I chose that branch of my family because I was able to trace my grandmother's family back seven generations. And not only that, I was able to make the African connection to pinpoint where in Africa a branch of her family came from. So I decided to write this book because I always get a lot of questions. Melvin, how did you do that? How, did you, how, were, how were you able to trace your family back, right. back so far? How were you able to get into the slavery era? Because with African American research, you're going to have to tackle uh, tracing enslaved ancestors. So I thought it would be a good idea to write this book as a genealogical model to show people exactly how I took my grandmother's family from her all the way back to fifth great-grandmother, okay. great-grandparents, really. Right. Yeah. So, um, what's inspired, what inspired you to choose this topic for this book? Well, I've been doing uh, uh, historical and gene genealogical research for since I was 19, and I always loved it. So, um, it's always good to write about something you're passionate about. So, uh, it used to be, actually, it used to be a, a really a, a dream of mine to write a book. So I was like, okay, genealogy is my passion, uh, history is my passion, and I wouldn't mind writing a book. So I put the two together and wrote a book about, you know, genealogy. Right. Yeah. Um, but part of this book, um, what was the most interesting um, part about that you discovered during your search, and uh, how far back were you able to go? And why would you encourage the, the a AUC community to get involved with the search process? Uh, well, one of the most fascinating and interesting things uh, uh, that I learned uh, while doing the research for this book is I found out that I had a, an ancestor that fought in the Civil War, right. and he was a great-great-grandfather. Uh, before then, I had just only heard scant information. I wasn't you know, very well versed on the African American participation in the Civil War. So when I went to visit this 90 year old uh, cousin of mine, he just casually mentioned about his grandfather fought, fought in that big war with sticks. So I was like, wait a minute, are you talking about the Civil War? So yeah, he confirmed that my great great grandfather fought in the Civil War, and uh, soon afterwards, I was able to get his pension file from the National Archives. A cousin of mine looked him up for, for me. In the, Send me his pension file. Thick pension file, huge, lots of information, depositions that my great great grandmother had to receive from family members and friends proving that she was the widow of my great great grandfather. Loads of information. So that was one of the most fascinating things that I was able to find. And that caused me to study more about the African American participation in the Civil War because I wanted to know more. And that's one of the things that. Um, genealogy research it does it it opens up a door of curiosity you know you start learning about different uh, things about you know people in your family and it makes you want to study more African-American history right. just to get a general idea get a bigger picture yeah. because uh, as I was writing this book I was actually still here in grad school here at Clark Atlanta University while I was writing this book so uh, uh, I was able to come to this library and check out, you know, mm -hmm. various sources on various topics to give me a better understanding of how 
my ancestors lived, or uh, you know, just the environment they had to live in. Right. Uh, uh, the archives had a lot of great texts uh, from the John Henry Clark collection. A lot of books that you know was specifically to you know different aspects of the black experience. So I was able to get some of those texts and read, and and, and it helped me to also write that book because the book is more than just names and dates. Right. I paint the picture for the reader as to, you know, how, uh, what kind of lives they, uh, you know, my ancestors lived. And it's not just, the book can not only just relate to my ancestors, but, you know, all of our ancestors, you know, because, you know, you had, uh, you had at least 200,000 African American men that fought in the Civil War. So chances are pretty good that a lot of African Americans had somebody in their family to fight in the Civil War. So one chapter in the book, you know, although you're reading about, you know, the experiences my great-great-grandfather endured, you can also get a picture of what, you know, all of those soldiers may have endured in the Civil War. So that was one of the most fascinating things I found. I was able to trace back seven, seven generations of my maternal grandmother's family and uh, back to a fifth great-grandmother great 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 grandmother mm -hmm. and also her husband who was my great 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 grandfather <laughs> and they were born like in the late 1700s around 1760 1765 right. and so I was able to trace back that far um, they were within one or two generations from Africa right. uh, actually my great 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 grandmother she had an African name so with that name, that that enabled me to make the connection, the African connection, because I was able to at least uh, pinpoint at least several different tribes that her family may have come from. Right. And to my fortune, I was able to find a direct descendant that carried her mitochondrial DNA. And I had it tested to see what the DNA says. And the DNA matched one of uh, the tribes that I had already pinpointed. So uh, I was able to go, I, I tell people I was able to go back to Africa. Right. Even though I don't know the specifics as to like the slave ship, the village, uh, that is extremely difficult to find out. Uh, very, very few people have been able to, you know, find that uh, specific detail due to the lack of records that they kept. And, you know, Africans were considered property, so it just, just wasn't a lot of detail recorded. Right. So, however, I know for a fact that, sh that my fifth great grandparents were within one or two generations from Africa because they were enslaved in South Carolina during that early period when they were bringing in a lot of Africans through Charleston. Right. Yeah.